Hey everybody, Teresa Dell here, Real Rogue and Random, of course. I just want to give a quick update. Um, also, on the community tab for this channel, if you take a peek at it, you'll see that um, there's updates on there once in a while. I'll, I'll do some writing or whatever, some little something or other, and put it on there so you guys could see. While I try to figure out a format for this, as you know, this is a variety varietal channel. I use it not only to um, encourage people to stay proactive in life, proactive with their skills, proactive with their talents, um, share them with other people, to encourage other people to not get stuck in our box that we could so easily get stuck in. Um, so basically, that's pretty much what this channel is about. Encouraging a proactive life, a proactive approach to life, even if it's in simplistic things. You know, a lot of happiness can be found there. I've actually found a lot more happiness in very simple uh, pleasures than I have in some grander ones. So basically, it just depends on the mood and what you need for fulfillment at the time. Anyway, as you know, I am going to be touching on metaphysics and uh, that, that science, which is actually considered a science and a philosophy. I'm going to be um, focusing on culinary arts. I'm going to be focusing on wellness, various different things. And I was going to structure, um, do a weekly structure like this day, I'll do that this day. But because I have other things that happen in my life that require my attention, it won't um, work. So what I'm going to do is just throw something <laughs> throw something to the channel that I think will be interesting, whether it's an out and about, um, which I did not get to do the northern, um, the northern far north part of California yet because some family matters came up that needed um, needed a little or wanted my assistance. And I am thinking I'm going to switch gears and go to Yosemite instead, which is my favorite national park. Um, so anyway, back on track. I'm not going to do a structured day by day, like a Manic Monday, uh, Taco Tuesday, <laughs> or anything like that. I, I am going, or a Thriller Thursday, where I tell ghost stories, which I do have many. I have been a paranormal investigator. I have many really fun stories. So I'll be sharing some of those. Basically, the whole purpose of this is to encourage people to get out past that cement and steel, to get out there, to see what lies just beyond, to tap into your talents and, and, and just enjoy them. We have them for a reason. Enjoy them. Whether you make something creative and give it as a gift, whether you're a phenomenal cook and you want to share a recipe or create a little cookbook of some kind or a grander one, do these things, okay? Because it's so easy to get stuck in a rut and ruts are horrible. I've been stuck in them before and I busted out of them when I decided to be pretty much an independent person. Um, that was due to a crash and burn accident that I had while working as an executive chef. I bro broke my kneecap in half, impacted my hip. That career I had a long haul vision of. I was climbing. I was a certified chef de cuisine with American Culinary Federation. I was going to go further with that and boom. Boom, one fall changed everything. Luckily, I made the pickup in studying the healing arts, which I was already doing. But I went ahead and finished those um, and uh, started taking my path um, dietary into wellness or my path in, in food service into wellness and then got into the spiritual. So everything I've done really is a dot to dot, except for a career as a travel agent. That was my first career and working for the Postal Service, but otherwise everything is kind of one thing influenced the other. If you look at it, pull yourself back and look at it, you'll see it. But anyway, so basically that's what my channel here is for, to encourage you to thrive, to encourage you to smile. To encourage you to smile and to pull yourself out of the doldrums because it's dangerous when we go there. We don't want to be there, okay? It's still mine. It's the devil's playground, and that's a fact. Anyway, so I just wanted to do a little update here today. Um, I did have a couple people ask me some questions, and I would um, I would like to just project for a minute, uh, just to put a little fun spin on this. Number one, 
what was my favorite haunt? Well, it wasn't a professional paranormal uh, investigation that I did. It was just a, a personal experience, and that's the Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego. They talk about Kate there quite a bit. Kate um, is a spirit that who she died there. They don't know if it was murder or what was murder. They're not sure who did it. But anyway, she died there. She is present. One of her homemakers I detected was present as well. Or one of her keepers, you might say, assistants. And many other eras uh, since its very early beginning of the hotel. Um, mediums can pick up on it. It's really a fascinating place. Um, as far as that, there's um, a couple hotels in Nevada City, California that I have found a lot of enjoyment going to visit because it's eerie up in those buildings. They're old, 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 and it's really eerie, some of the things that go on up there. You can feel yourself being touched, patted, patted on the bottom, um, purses grabbed, children, spirits of the little children in there that died very sad. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of very, very interesting things that go on up in Nevada City. So if you're into paranormal stuff and have some questions for me, fire away. Okay. I love to answer them. That stuff is a whole lot of fun. Anyway, so another question I was asked is about the skills of clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is to basically see clearly um, things going on. Similar to remote viewing, but not as, I think, not as fine-tuned as remote viewing, um, where you're elsewhere and you could actually sense and see like a play-by-play -play, things that are going on. Uh, clairvoyance is similar, but I think there's a little distance involved. This is my own opinion, my own translation. I am a clairvoyant. I'm a clairaudient. I hear things um, that I, are nowhere around me that help guide me. This I've done in criminology that help guide me to answers or I will feel things, I will smell things, I will taste things that also help guide me to a geographic location that can assist um, with finding things uh, I don't, you know, or possibly even people. So basically that's what the clairs are all about. The clairs are the, uh, the immense senses that we have and how we, um, as uh, metaphysicians, fine-tune them to assist in various different things. So that's work that I've enjoyed and I have found very rewarding is to help people find resolve. So um, I'm not a spooky person. I'm not a scary person. I, as I've said before, I don't crack code on everybody. I don't want to know what everyone's doing. I don't want to know the, the itty-bitties of people. I absolutely do not. I would go insane if I was that person who tried to get crack into everyone. I can't and I won't. Um, but I, I do enjoy uh, doing this work because I do help people find answers uh, so they can make smart decisions for their life. And that's, you know, we all make mistakes. We all make decisions hoping they're the right one. And sometimes they turn out maybe they weren't, but hopefully we learn from them. Anyway, so that's another question I was handed. Um, basically, you're going to see it. My interests are also my work. My personal interests, my hobbies have also been my work and my life path. And I like to share them with people. I have a lot to share, a lot of experience to share. If people have questions, please do ask and I'll give you the answers I have or help you figure out where to go for those answers. So that's basically um, also um, a marketing tool. This channel is also a marketing tool for my skills. And um, I encourage people to do similar things, you know, market your skills and you never know what someone's looking for. You never know what they might need to find. And if you're the person with the answers or you're the person with the skills or whatever, more power to you. So that really is, in a nutshell, the, the purpose of this is to inspire people, to tap into your skills, share your interests, share what you have. You know, um, let's make this a community here. It's what I really want to do. And, and, and more or less just help people escape this this place up here that we get trapped in so much get over our phobias and go experience don't say i want to don't look back years down the road with your head on the pillow and say i wish i would have okay look back and say it was one hell of a ride anyway so that's my purpose i believe is to encourage and influence people to thrive to the best of their ability Anyway, so I'll be heading to Yosemite. I hope this coming weekend. I really do hope so. It depends on weather. Um, we've had some really interesting snowfall. So if I do go, I'll be sharing that journey with you. It is so beautiful there. Otherwise, um, I'll be doing an update on some other things and I will keep you posted, okay? So you all take care. I wish you well. I wish you happiness. I truly do. And um, you can visit my website, teresadell.com. It's gradually 
getting modified um, to eresadel.com. And if you want to schedule a spiritual counsel, guidance, anything like that, you got some questions, answers, some things bugging you, and you think I might be able to give you some insight, you could check in the description box, and there's instructions how to do that. $3 a minute, $40 per 15 minute increment. That is below what I charge in the network I work out of sometimes. Um, and all instructions, as I said, are there. I love to help people find their way. All right, so sometimes it works out great for them. And sometimes, you know, no harm done. <laughs> we all try. <laughs> Anyways, so you take care, all right? And I'll be back in touch with you soon. And hopefully I'll be on another journey that I could share. As I said, get in your car. I know gas is expensive, but you don't have to go far to see much. You really don't. And there's so much peace out there, so much tranquility, um, so much you can do that's just close in reach. And... Most of all, to tap into those skills, be a poet, write music, write songs, um, you know, cook, make a bunch of cookies and send them out to your family. I've done that before. Frozen and sent out boxes and boxes of cookies because I felt like baking, but I didn't even want to eat all of them. You know, it wouldn't have been a good thing. <laughs> so anyway, so I just encourage people, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in the chair. Don't get stuck with your finger on the remote. Don't get stuck. Okay open up and believe in yourself and let yourself free all right anyway you all take care thanks for the minute you gave this all righty bye-bye